Hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to Enjoyable Cars. And uh, over my shoulder here, we have a Honda Civic Type R, uh, the FN2. Um, okay, so Milano Red. Um, this particular car has got some enhancements, namely uh, some black detailing. This was apparently done by the previous owner. So we've got some black 18 inch Type R alloys. The lower trim seals, that's a color match too. As is the rear splitter. So he sets it off nicely. Coming round, this has had the roof painted in black also. I'll try and give you a better shot there. There we go. As is the fuel filler cap. Door handle surround. Mirror covers. And back round the front of the car. Look at this black splitter. So it looks pretty good. Obviously, this is different from standard. Obviously, a bit about the car. This particular one's got 123,000 miles. It's a four owner vehicle. Currently awaiting an MOT. So, of course, we'll have a year's MOT once this car is ready to be sold. So, uh, two litre VTEC, the iVTEC as it was re termed on the FN2. In essence, similar to the previous generation, running 197 horsepower. Uh, and of course, being VTEC, with the differences between those two cars, it has a, a lower VTEC threshold, so it kicks in a little bit lower down the rev range, just under 6,000 RPM, and of course, will rev out to 8,250. It's a great car. Six speed manual, of course. So we have the uh, classic red trim, and of course, You'll see the red badge on the Honda steering wheel load, uh, hub there, which is a signature to type up with contrasting red and black seats. Quite a wacky looking dashboard. So totally different to the previous gen. And I guess the beginning of the wacky Honda styling. Now it's a four owner car with a really good service history. We've got stamps records up to 2016, around about 90,000 miles. Um, then it's private servicing and we have of course serviced the car in readiness to be driven away. So uh, in great all round condition considering it's uh, in its 13th year this year and again the mileage at 123, it's not too bad. So we have a whacking great boot here, I mean literally I don't think you're going to get bigger without buying a state car. So. Uh, say supremely practical you've got a, a parcel shelf which will come down and these rather clever folding seats which give you absolutely loads of room so as you can see it now extends almost up to the back seats if you take the parcel shelf off of course you've got a van sized area to play with so pretty practical on the basis of that loads of room in the back seats Okay, cool. So sitting inside the Type R now, uh, first thing, front and centre, got a, uh, a nice grippy leather bound steering wheel. The left hand side's got all your volume controls. On the right there's cruise, and then the bottom sections here are effectively a computer which shows into here. So uh, digital display, analog rev counter, and then coming up you've got another couple of digital displays, one for the speed and one for your media, your audio, and it will also show your climate control stuff which is sitting up here dual zone on a type r um auto lights this is a gt spec vehicle and therefore automatic wipers on the stalk as you can see classic red stop start button good old honda coming down type r six speed gearbox nice uh well i'm not sure what this is made of we'll go with aluminium so uh looks good feels nice a bit cold on the on a, on a country morning on a cold morning. Uh, coming out, we've got lovely, superb, supportive Type R seats. I guess you could fit buckles there if you were inclined. And uh, quite a nice little feature on a Type R. And I guess other Civics, um, the climate control for the passenger on the door card there. Looks pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, nice and driving environment. Uh, let your windows all round. Again, power folding mirrors. So that's quite cool. So yeah. Nice Type R interior, interesting to look at. Okay, so um, we'll also show you some driving. So uh, I'm gonna take the car out, um, give it a little drive and see what you think.
great, lovely throttle response. As soon as you're on with the VTEC, you can hear it. It's got a lovely tone, but there's also a light that shines on the dash, a little red light next to the bit high VTEC. So, uh, really nice steering, it's jigging it around in my hands here. So what we'll do is uh, take it up this road here. So. Nice turning lock on it. Effectively a race car engine this. As you can hear. Break the speed limit, it's not really what driving's all about, but what I will do is to give you a little bit of insight about this particular car. So, the car is in great condition, air condition blows cold, it's chilling me as we speak. Um, radio's perfect, it's actually got a CD player, if you remember what those are. Um, dual zone climate control, so that's left and right sided. Down on the driver the passenger door here, I've actually got an individual temperature control, which I don't think I've ever seen in any other car ever. So I'm pretty good. Um, coming back round to this multi-function steering wheel, again everything works on there. We've got cruise control, so if you want to temper your speed, not getting caught speeding, ideal. Um, you've got auto lights, you've got auto wipers, even the door mirrors power folded and they're heated as well. So everything works on this car. We're sitting here currently at around 70 miles an hour, nice and quiet, but of course it's just a gear change away from the VTEC zone. So into fourth, and you can hear it sing 